Well, today I thought we would try uh, bioethanol, aka ethanol, just from a, well, a biological source, or ethically grown, or corn oil, or whatever they make this out of, and methylated spirits, both highly flammable liquids. Uh, I thought we would try them in the 8 kilowatt uh, diesel heater. Now, I don't expect these to actually start and run because bioethanol has got like a really low energy density. I think it's like like half of that of petrol and diesel. I don't I don't even understand why people use this. It's really, really expensive. This one litre bottle cost me however much I've put on the screen here. It's hurt unless you're getting this are you get people people keep asking for ethanol. Are you getting this for free? Because you have to be getting it for free. Because it's a waste of time. Like I say, it's oh, half the energy density of petrol, which means you have to burn twice as much. Medley spirits I've absolutely no idea about. It's a very nice purple colour though. Don't drink it, it will absolutely make you blind. And ethanol, hell, let's, right, let's spray in the thing and we'll see if it actually does anything. Confidence is not high today, folks. Not high at all. Right, I have turned it on. If you can see on the steamed up camera here. Just, yeah. It's a bit cold in here. Anyway, uh, yeah, the glow plug's on the heater and, well, it's hopefully heating up. We shall see if it lights. Okay, well, the glow plug's gone off. And from the sounds of it, it's staying lit. It's still going. The controller's up to two green things. No. Oh. I think it just went out. Did it? No? Yes? No, no, it's still going. It's making warm air. It's not, it's not like diesel hot, it's just warm. But it's still going. We'll see if the, the the dial here ever actually gets up into the red. Let me just get out of the shot. It's still going though. It's on maximum attack now. This might be one of the things where we go into the admin settings and like turn the fuel pump all the way up and maybe bring the fan down a bit so it's putting in a lot more fuel than air and that might get it to burn a bit better but I'm actually surprised at all that and it's, uh, it's, it's doing it it's, it's still going like I say granted it's not exactly horrendously warm air that's coming out of it but it's not cold you know it's, it's, it's generating heat Speed up to one yellow. Go on then, let's have a few beeps. Exhaust outlets. All right. Air temperature coming out, but it's not exactly staggering. But it is providing warm air, and it is burning bioethanol, which I've carefully put over there so it's far enough away from the fire for anything. Yeah, it's doing it. No, and I just wanted to point out today we're using the new power supply, which is a 12 volt. 50 amp power supply. Ah, thought I thought I might as well go big. And it was only 30 pounds or something. 12 volts, 30, 30 amps. No, 50 amps, sorry, 50 amps. So I can run pretty much like five years at once if I wanted. Okay, bioethanol and ethanol. It's totally, absolutely doing it. Question is though, if I turn it down to minimum, will it just go out? 
So let's take the poppy thing all the way. Oh, this is where you have to slowly press it because the update time is not fast enough. How low will it go? Okay, 0.8 hertz is the lowest. Will it keep running? Okay, I took it down its lowest setting and let it run for a few minutes, but what happened was it's like detected a flame out, it's gone too cold, and it's brought the glow plug back on, and it's, well, it's gone out basically, that's what it's saying. Uh, so there must be a lowest setting for it. But this is uh, one of the things that we could investigate with the... Yeah, it's gone off. It's, it's done. It has gone out. Okay, that's fair enough. That's flame out. That's, that's fair enough. Kind of expected that because you need twice as much uh, you know, ethanol as normal fuel to keep... That would be your air fuel ratio. But that's another thing we could work out with the AFR gauge. Once we buy it, we can actually work out a proper you know settings for the fan speed and the pump hertz and that'll give us well an actual number to work off of that'll actually run at and see how low we can run it down to right in that case let's try now the methylated spirits whatever it's gone let's do that right i'm just priming this now to get the ethanol out and switch over to the methylated spirits which should be fairly obvious to see because it should come out purple which is rather handy I have to say, I'm impressed with the ethanol for its clean burn. There was like no smoke, there was no anything when it was burning. I give it that. It's a clean burn. Half the, well, you'll get half the energy output because there is only half the energy in, in. I say half, it's about half. We'll call it half. But we'll let this uh, um, prime a couple of times so we get purple coming out and then we'll fire up again on uh, methylated spirits. The methylated spirits is up there, the purple bottle has now primed, glow plugs on, and well, we'll see if it lights or not. Well, it's making noises. So we'll just probably remember to set this to maximum. Right, the methylated spirits took two goes to light this, even though it started with a warm burn chamber, and it's still only on two little green blocks, it's not gone up yet. So this seems to burn even worse than the uh, ethanol slash bioethanol. It's a lot more like petrol, but not even as good as petrol. I mean, that exhaust is barely hot. The air output is also barely warm. It's going fast and harder now though. So it does work. It will absolutely burn methylated spirits. But it's not super enthusiastic about doing it. Once it's up and powering, it'll, it'll do it. It's doing it. It's doing it now. I've still only got two blobs out of it though. It's on maximum attack. Hmm. Okay, well. I can almost go, uh, guarantee this will go out a uh, lower, no. Go out a higher setting than the bioethanol ethanol mix, simply because it doesn't seem to burn as well again. Oh, but finally made up to one yellow blob. Oh, we'll let that shut down. Okay, what I've got now is the smaller two kilowatt heater. And I've got actual stove glass on the end of it this time. And this is us looking into the flame from the ethanol slash bioethanol. All the metal chunks and bits you're seeing are probably just bits of waste uh, oil that was in there the first time 
actually finally getting burnt out. But this is getting up, getting up to a good temperature. You can see the glow chamber's nice and hot. The glow chamber, the burn chamber is nice and hot even. Look how beautifully blue that flame is. That is, that's quite stunning actually. Now, let me see if I can switch this back to manual focus. Or auto focus even. Should be doing this thing right. Let me just uh, pull you out a moment to see what's see what's happening here. So this is the little two kilowatt here. Bit of stove glass on the custom front, and then we can see inside into the burn happening. Let me zoom in a bit for you. It's pretty. That is some blue flame. Yes, the real stove glass works a lot better than the other, what do we call it, glass? Oh, I forgot the name of it now. That's cool as fuck, I'm not going to lie. Well, what have we learned today? We've learned that ethanol slash bioethanol will burn in the heater. We have learned that Methylated spirits will burn in heater. This one, bio, bio, bioethanol slash ethanol burns a lot nicer than methylated spirits. Yeah, methylated spirits burns like petrol, not happily. I think with a bit of tweaking in the settings, you could get this to burn quite happily. Although, again, I'm still back to the thing that this is expensive as fuck. Gives out half the energy. But it is very clean burning, very, very clean burning, as shown by the blue flames from the small heater here. Which brings me to two points I want to make. One is, several people have now commented on how uh, I don't think the motor's supposed to run in the vertical orientation. I don't think the bearing motors are supposed to do that. Well, I've, here, here's the motor out of the Babasto. Does it run this way up? No, it fucking runs this way up. And it's got one bearing, I've had it apart already, this one is absolutely fucked. One bearing inside in the top, the bottom is just a bushing. There isn't even a bearing in it, it's just a bushing. There is one bearing running vertically, that is the way Webasto run their motor in the thermotop. Fucking vertically, so please, fuck up. Second point. Or B, depending on how I was doing things. Diesel heater orientation and running them upside down and then various things. So here's the burn chamber, which you can see is a cylinder. So this part does not give a fuck as to which way up it is going. However, as has been pointed out, there is this hole here where the glow plug goes in. Now, some of them I've seen this glow, this hole is filled in, some is open. So normally it would be running this way up with your fuel pipe in the bottom so your hole is at the top so your fuel will naturally go in and run down which is great it's fine it'll run quite happily but if you're running it in the upside down orientation where this hole is now at the bottom some fuel may leak out this hole so what i would do is either it's thick enough that you could probably tap it and put a grub screw in or fill it with high temperature silicon or gun gum or something like that just to stop the fuel leaking out the small hole. If you know what this hole is for, please leave a comment down below. I do not know what this hole is for. I cannot see what purpose it has apart from to let fuel leak out. Obviously, you might as well fill it if you're going to run it in any other weird orientation. The heater itself does not care which way up it is. The folks saying, 
Oh, you'll burn your house down, or you'll set your boat on fire, or set your truck on fire, run your heat upside down. Right, if you fill this hole in, the fuel will not come out of this hole. The fuel will only go into the heater and be in the heater. It's not, you know, it's... This bit doesn't care which way up it is. It's either going to fill the inside up with fuel and burn it, or it's not. So, that's point two, or B, like, fill the hole in, run upside down, fucking deal with it. Fuck's sake, people. No, I, I, I can't, I can't stress this enough with the motor. It doesn't run this way around in Robasto. It runs this way up. It, and this one, well, this one doesn't run. It's, uh, it's knackered. But we'll do that in the Robasto video. Robasto video? Oh, such Russian. A Robasto video. Uh, which we're still waiting for bits for, for that Robasto. And I've still got bits on order for the big heater to pretend it's a shower, etc. But we might have to wait until a few months for the shower one, cause, is it February? Is this, we're still in January? This video's still in January. And it's still fucking cold outside and I'm gonna have to be doing showery stuff outside and I don't really want to do it at zero degrees. I'd rather do it in the sunshine in the summer when it's nice. Uh, okay, that kind of wraps up. We've got a new power supply, 12 volts, 50 amps, which will let us run all the things. We've done ethanol and meth meth methylated spirits and ethanol slash bioethanol. They run here, that's great. Uh, anything you do is at your own risk if you burn your house down and set your boat on fire, set your truck on fire. It's your own fault, unfortunately. And, uh, well, I think that kind of wraps up. It's, I'm actually filming tonight. It's uh, dark outside now. I'm going to go and edit this and then go to my bed. So. Thanks for watching, guys!